It's days like today you have to remember why you started in the first place, okay? So right now, what I'm working on is making my program actually usable to the public, okay? I'm building the website that people will interact with. Backend is done. Data pipelines done. Hosting problems figured out. Everything is done up to the point of making it usable by other people, okay? And uh, that means turning it into a website. And unfortunately, I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at that at all. And I know what you're saying. You just practice, just keep trying, keep working on it, and you get better. I mean, the, the first step towards getting kind of okay at something is being really bad at something. Yes, totally, absolutely. But I'm a month into this, and uh, my website was most definitely made in 1991. And it's not, it's, my tastes far outweigh my ability. <laughs> so, uh, I'm dragging myself to this project every day. On the days that I work on it, right? Uh, I don't want to work on it anymore. I don't want to show up to actually build my dream. I don't want to sit down, grind it out, actually build my company or work on this passion project. Whatever you want to call this thing, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> because I know when I go sit down, I'm just slogging through different uh, bits of CSS. I'm just adding little snippets of HTML to make this next page look a little bit better. And it never looks any better. It's just, it's just frustrating. I find it incredibly frustrating. And I, would a framework help out with that? Yeah, yeah, probably, probably, right? because I'm not a front-end engineer. I don't know these different frameworks and I don't wanna spend the three months it'll take to actually get up to speed learning that stuff. I, I just don't, and I know it would be helpful. You know, you add another tool to your tool belt, you understand how uh, a front-end fits into the whole tech stack. It's, it would be beneficial. It would be a, a wise decision to dive into something like React. Sure, sure. But I just want to like get back to the, the cloud stuff. I want to get back to the data pipelines. I want to get back to the back end side of things. Maybe I'm just being whiny. Who knows? But my website is not, it's not where I want it to be. And it's not something I could show people and be incredibly proud of right now. It's not like, hey, look what I've done. And it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, what did you do? <laughs> My 12-year-old could make a better website, Luke. Yeah, thanks. That means a lot there, buddy. So I wanted to make a video today related to that, where I'm at a place where I've, I've forgotten why I started this altogether. You possibly have experienced something similar, where you start a project, you have a goal in mind, whatever it is, and you forget why you started. For me, I'm in a slog. I mean, a, a part of, of busy work almost as I see it. And all things are going to have that, right? There's always things you don't like to do. Folding laundry, washing the dishes, paying taxes, whatever it is. But you got to do it. You got to do it. <laughs> and so in those times when you're in the middle of a project and you don't remember why you started, you're not going to feel very motivated. I don't feel very motivated to do this. I don't want to sit down and work on this. Every time I do, I'm just frustrated because I've forgotten why I started. Those reasons are very personal, right? They could be for you, for me. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I just wanna be self-employed, right? And so I've taken this idea, I'm building it out. Eventually I'll figure out how to monetize it. Not too worried about that. I'm just making something that advances my skills. So in two different ways, it could help me. Either I'm super self-employed with the thing or the skills that I build help me advance my career, make some more money. I, awesome, it's win-win in this regard. But I'm not thinking of either of those. I'm not thinking about being my own boss. I'm not thinking about like the next job upgrade in the next five years, nothing like that. I'm thinking, well, the position of this element on my web page is jumping all over the page. The overlap of this thing is ugly as heck. It, <laughs> I added 
this element and it completely ruined the the page that I just loaded like I'm just thinking about the minutia of what I'm doing and it's a total motivation killer it's totally just not not having a good time don't want to come back to it tomorrow don't want to go keep working on it now but I mean I'm not gonna I'm gonna go back to my job because I'm on lunch right now but later today you know, kids are going to go to sleep. I'm going to have my two hours a night to work on this thing. And I don't want to. I don't want to. I think I'd rather uh, fold laundry. <laughs> I think I'd rather make some phone calls. I hate talking on the phone. I don't want to text people. I don't want to, like, community's good. Having relationships is good. You should call your mom, by the way. She probably misses you. But It's not my favorite thing to do, to talk on the phone. And I'd rather do that than, should the text be blue or black? Should you have a background image? How should this layout look? I mean, it's so frustrating. And I've lost sight of just, you're doing this for a bigger picture. And so I'm, I'm kind of wishing that I had some kind of advice to get through it, but I'm kind of in the middle of it right now. I'm in the middle of sitting here going, just beat my head against the wall to not only make it functional, you know, because maybe I should just put out a minimum viable product, just a prototype of sorts. Like here is everything I've got on the back end just displayed in a super ugly 1991 fashion. Great, great. I mean, there's, that is an idea. And that's probably what I'll end up doing until I hire someone to actually make a proper front end because... Like I said earlier, I could do the three months and figure out front-end frameworks. Or you could just pay someone some money, and then you have this magical thing that plugs into the program of me, and everything will work. I, I kind of like that option a little better. <laughs> so, will I push through and get through this slog portion of the project? Yes, absolutely. Get that minimum viable product out there. Because it's it's not even that. It's not a product. This thing that I'm going to put up onto hosting is not something that will be monetized. Every little thing will be free. Because when you go to www.lukeswebsite.com, it's, it's going to be hilarious. It's so... Mm, just rocking that early 90s blank page, here's some links kind of thing. And... Um, yeah, suffice it to say, I'm not really proud of how it looks, how it functions, the, the data that is therein accessed. A plus, I'm really actually proud of that. It turned out great. But uh, <laughs> it's in the presentation that people will find initial value. It's like a first impression thing, right? Uh, <laughs> and what I think is useful or valuable or easy to look at or, oh, I like this site. It's pretty minimal. Yeah, they're like, great. That quote from Joe Dirt just plays in my head. It's not about you, it's about the consumer. You, know? you guys have to find it cool when you go there. You guys have to not go to it and go, oh my God, I'm not spending any more time on this website, much less paying for any of the services there. Because like, what quality of stuff am I getting with, uh, with this kind of thing? So yeah, if you find yourself in a place where you're just stuck, <laughs> It's a slog to get through it. Uh, maybe think about why you're doing it in the first place. Because it's very possible you've forgotten why are you even doing this. If it's such a bother or so annoying or such a drag to get yourself to go sit down and do it, maybe you're like me and you've forgotten why you were doing it in the first place. Maybe. And I hope you get through it. I hope whatever that frustration is, it's a little more easily overcome than it could be. I hope you work through it quick and get back to the, the fun parts, the exciting parts, the moving forward parts, rather than the, oh God, oh God, everything's broken again. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And have a good weekend. Take care of yourself. Be safe out there. I'll see you on Monday. And hopefully I'll be done with this part. God bless.